But to be uh, brutally honest here, Michael, sometimes I see sets on an MTC stage or a, you know, an Anglo theater stage, and I think that set is from 1963. It's, it's expectations are from 1963, but it's 2012. Why are we, why are we, still more firmly anchored to that idea than saying we don't need naturalism like that? Naturalism is a style; it's not a condition anymore. I think maybe it's because he, here uh, francophone artists sometimes are what they're concerned with is the search for a visual metaphor for a play, as opposed to. The reality and the, 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 that's involved. It's like it, where's the door? The door is like where's the that's door? That's the reality. Yeah, like As where's to, the door? I don't care where the door is. Yeah, give me this feeling. So it is this search for metaphor that I think allows some artists uh, here. They're also very inspired by what's going on in Europe. They're forever mentioning what's happening in Europe, and I saw this at the. That, you know, I'm going like more Euro trash. We got to listen to today. You know, I'm so tired as a Canadian of people telling me what. You know, even in even in our social system, they always tell how great Sweden is. Who cares? <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Or how? You know. Have you seen Wallander, the Swedish series, the detective series? No, I bet it's oh, great. Oh, it's it's something special. It is. I know, special. but it's like even the design and the light. You know what it, I'm talking about, the though. You know, they'll no, say, no, no. If you mirror yourself up of someone else's, you can't culture, even compare. Yeah. I mean, Sweden is practically a cultural monolith. It doesn't have the same co composition of population, right. the same history, the same anything. So shut up about Sweden. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, the same. I mean, a lot but of, but I do want to go back <laughs> because, and we'll take a break in a second. I do want to go back that to me there is an overbearing literalism in too much of the English Canadian artistic output. And whether it's a television show that I, I have to see the bullet leave the barrel of the gun and I have to see how big the wound was in the head and I have to see the kitchen yes. sink and I have, there's a literalism to what, how you've got to feed, manipulate and deliver an audience. And that literalism I find sucking the creative air out of the room. It can, we won't reach it for can have that effect. We yeah. don't have the appetite to look for metaphor, to read metaphor, to... Well, I, I'm overstating the case, but... I understand I what you're getting I feel it at. when I come home. When I come home from Brazil, or I come home from Paris, or I come home from... Not to, you know, uh, adore the other cultures. Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> but to come back and then watch the smaller box that we've made for ourselves creatively. And I cannot divorce that from the two companies who really are playing around the world are from Quebec, mm -hmm. Cirque du Soleil and Ex Machina. And no English companies are playing around the world from English Canada. And I can't, somewhere these things have got to add up to us. Do you know, point. Robert, our, uh, our, our literary history, and I think can have something to do with this too. We have the, the Shakespearean canon, of course, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, it's revered not only in the Anglo world, Anglo world, but all over the world. It's an international thing. But there, there, it's specifically an English phenomenon. It's part of our cultural heritage, and, and we all live with it. And um, there, histor historically, there was, there's always a great kerfuffle when anyone messes with the quarto. Know what I mean? Like when anyone cuts it or changes any part of it, or or um, the uh, quartos being the early version of the yes, definitive version yeah, of what Shakespeare text. wrote, and this is the text. It's like the word made flesh again. You know what I mean? Right. It's like it, it's got you got to be washed in the blood. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but that kind of reverence and that kind of um, respect for the quarto, I think, is a, is it's. This is a long, it's just a stretch, but I think is a link to this kind of literal, literalness that we have in the rest of our creative uh, exercises. Regard, do you know what I mean? It's like there's a way to do Shakespeare. Let's say, I mean, now foreigners do all kind of stuff with Shakespeare. They take, they take a, what, what's his name, the German guy, 
Hamlet machine, you know what I mean? Which is a treatment of that. Or you, uh, most of those original treatments of the of Shakespearean classics, they don't come from the Anglophone world until very recently. There's been a few things maybe, but they always come from another culture somehow. Why is that? It's because they haven't inherited this intrinsic kind of reverence for the text. Now I can see there's a connection between that and the literalness that we use, we use for the rest of our repertoire. I mean, like I said, it's a stretch of it, but can you see there might be a connection, a cultural connection somehow? Because we, in English Canada, we remain text-driven theater primarily. Yes. And Euro theater, as much as you may object, is much freer of text and is more visual Completely. that kind of world. And, and <coughs> back is sort of between... And that the gives, two. like, Robert Lepage, for example, uh, the, the liberty to do his treatment of Hamlet, which I saw brilliant, called Elsinore. I don't know if you ever saw that one, no. one of his. It's one of the... I've only seen a few, but I did see that one. Amazing, amazing show.